Hello, hello. Good evening, Mariela. Good evening. Hi. I'm You're <laughs> driving? Yeah. Oh, man. Take care. Be care well, be careful. Uh, be very I careful. Am, I, I okay, okay. Got it. I'm the boulevard. <laughs> Okay, uh, I, I imagine there's a lot of traffic there. Yes, sorry. Hello, Jackie and Roxana. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Pretty good. What about you? Mm, I'm what good. Yesterday, but but I feel um, as you know, I had a, a sore throat uh -huh. around mm, two weeks ago, but now I feel uh, again the same symptoms. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> yes, but I don't know what happened. Because uh, my my flu, mi gripe, <laughs> was very uh, strong, and I don't know what happened now. So probably but, your 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 antibodies are are not very strong right now. Yes, Maybe. but uh, I um I I don't get uh, sick <laughs> because uh, I. For example, I had one year that I don't have a, a flu, but I don't understand why. I, I don't know. <laughs> but I took some pills and that is. Okay, okay. Yeah, probably yeah. that's, Hello, that's what good happened. Evening. Good evening, Jackie, Juan Jose, Flor, Gustavo, and Diana. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening, guys. So welcome to the Talking Tuesday. So we're going to be speaking a lot today. How are you doing? How was your day? I'm happy. You're happy? Yes. Okay. Is there a specific a reason or just yes? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, I win. I win one quotation from uh, the government. So the ah. project is uh, fifty-five thousand dollars. Okay. Congratulations. Yes. That's a yes. big achievement. Okay. Yeah. For that reason, I'm happy because my. My uh, esfuerzo, how would say? Effort. Must say my effort. Effort, uh huh. Yes, I your, have this. Your effort paid off. Yes, exactly. Paid off, uh huh. Okay, Flora, I got it. We're going to be waiting for you. Freddy's, welcome. Good evening. Okay, so Gustavo is feeling happy. How are you feeling, Freddy's? Kind of sick. Kind of sick? Yeah. Okay, you got uh, sore throat, fever, body ache. Actually, I have um, an allergic. An allergy? Yeah. 
Ah, okay. Sorry about that. Uh, maybe with a little pill that you could feel better, like Loratadina, I don't know. Um, what about you, Jackie? I'm happy like Gustavo is. <laughs> okay, nice. And Diana? I'm very relaxed today because it was a day off for me. So you're really relaxed. Okay. Yes, I slept a lot. Excellent. Juan Jose? Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you feeling mm. today? Um, this day is a hard day. Every Tuesday, every Tuesday, every Tuesday, Tuesday yes. Uh -huh. uh, it, yes, it's very hard because we we meet with the uh, another two teams uh, all, all morning since eight uh, until uh, twelve or eleven. It's very hard. Wow. Yes, all, all two days. And in yesterday and uh, Saturday and Sunday, it was very hard to me uh, because I won a cousin and cousin of my wife uh, visited from USA and it was very hard. Um, stayed in a um, Puri Central. And they live uh, until USA for Monday, uh, 3 p.m. 3 a.m. in the morning. It was very hard. Wow. I want to sleep. <laughs> I bet. I bet that you feel really sleepy after that. Okay. Sorry about that, Juan Jose. But hopefully tomorrow will be a more relaxing day. And. Let's see, Miguel and Fabio, welcome. Jennifer and Harbin, good evening. same, good evening. Good evening, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, guys, right. thank you. Okay, it's good to have you here. Um, I know that some of you are working, some of you are driving, so it's totally understandable, right, that they are going to join us a little bit late. However, uh, it is the second day and we're just one day away from finishing the week one. I mean, the, the, to finish, the, to be missing one week. So that's the end of, of week number four. And as promised, right, as promised, today we're going to be talking a little bit more than usual. In every class we try to, uh, well, I try to give you a chance, right, to practice speaking with your classmates. So today it's a little bit more than usual because it's Talking Tuesday. And uh, we're going to get started with um, the information that I have for you related to the session. Okay, so yesterday we had um, the opportunity to practice a little bit of speaking through the teamwork. So we were, um, let's say, sharing okay with our teams i'm going to show you what you were doing i try to take a screenshot of the of every group okay is this one so this is a conversation that we're going to practice in a moment and some questions about it so we had the first team that was presented the quaternary, uh, quaternary ammonium. I have problems with that name. Uh, with fragrances, then we have the some of the information they share right with us, the specifications, the materials, the benefits. So it was a really nice presentation uh, by team number one. Team number two was talking about plants. Okay, and all the characteristics of the, the plants they have. Okay, then some of the benefits of creating or building a prototype. 
And then we have the find your pets. So they were um, sharing some of the, some pictures, right? To have an idea how the product would look like if they had the chance to create it. Um, the last group that had a lot of information to share with us also was the pet lovers. <clears throat> so they were trying to summarize, right? All the characteristics of their product. However, there was a lot of uh, info to share, but we managed to finish on time, right? With all the presentations. And today we're going to start with the session number 19. So um, the idea is that we practice with the Talking Tuesday, right? We have a little review with the conversation that we're going to have in a moment. And we have the Talking Tuesday and we study a little bit of grammar. So we're going to study the topic and we're going to practice with some exercises. So this is about indirect questions, right? Um, or indirect information questions. Now we're going to start with the attendance. So I'm going to check who's here and who's not. And I'm going to pause the sharing so that I can see you better. I can see you better. Yeah, perfect. Now I'm going to start from the last to the first person in the list. So, Roxana. Present. Yanari. Rolando. Fabio. I'm here. Miguel. Gustavo. Yes, I'm here. Juan Jose. I'm here. Jennifer. I'm here. Harvin. Present teacher. Jackie. Present. Laura. She's not here yet, but hopefully she's going to join us. Freddy's. I'm here. Francisco. Uh, okay, Flor told me that she was on the way home. Diego. Diana. Present. Brenda. Uh, we continue with Blanca. Mariela was on the way home too. And Beatriz. Okay, she's coming soon too. Now we're going to go on. And now we are going to practice the conversation. So I need three volunteers to start. So we're going to, let's say improvise, right? So we have different different people uh, performing different roles. So we have Roxana, Diana, and who is the other one? We need one more. Well, as it is the first conversation, I think that I can help them out. Ah, oh, Juan Jose is there, perfect. So I'm going to share the screen. So I, in order for you to see the conversation, uh, here it is. So here we have a conversation between three managers, right? So in this case, I am going to be Greg. Uh, Roxana, you're going to, I mean, no, I think Juan Jose raised it. Ah, it's still there. So Juan Jose, you're going to be Greg. Uh, Roxana, you're going to be Lucia. And Diana, you're going to be Marta. Okay. Okay, ready, set, and go. I wonder if you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. Juan Jose. The microphone is, is off. Okay, excuse me. Um, who start? You you say I have, thank you. You are great. You are great. Okay. Okay. okay, I have, thank you. 
Lucia. Yes, uh -huh. yes, I have. Thank you, Lucia. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. I like I like us to revise, revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I would like to know if the quality control steps should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind? Would you mean telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course. Let me re revise my files. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Okay, class for them, please. Some reactions. Let me check. Here it is. Now, um, there are some things that we're going to be doing right through the conversation, same as the previous time that we had some, to pay attention to some specific words. Uh, in this case, we have the first word that I highlighted here is received. So that, because this one is in the past, so it has a specific pronunciation at the end. And in this case is with the sound D, right? Received. Uh, so received, uh, that's one word. The other one that some people confuse uh, because the verb is analyze, is analysis. So analysis is same as in Spanish, right? The pronunciation is very similar. A analysis, and um, then we have revise, okay, revise. So um, in this case, the word is pronounced with the sound z, right, z, like a z. Uh, so you say revise, revise the steps to verify, okay, revise, verify. These are two different words, okay, two different verbs. Very five, uh, repeated. So in this case, we have the ed sound at the end, repeated. Uh, quality, it's okay, I think it's easy. This word right here is control, okay? Control, because uh, in Spanish, uh, it, we have the same, like we say uh, control, right? So the stress is in the second syllable too. So it's really similar, but here we say control, okay? With the O, control. Um, and then we have, uh, let me check, find out. This is about connections, right? So you make a connection between the two words and you say, find out. Find out if, if you can make a, the R sound here and you can connect it with the if. Find, find out if find out if, right? So could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify, okay? That's another verb that is very technical too. Here's very formal. So we have revise, verify, and clarify. Okay, so three verbs that are related. Now, um, and find out, that is a phrasal verb, right? That it's, uh, Basically, when you say find out is to investigate, right? And get some information. So that is find out. Uh, then the other word, uh, would you mind? Would you mind telling? That's a very common question in English. Would you mind, uh, for example, would you mind going to the supermarket with me? Or would you mind... Uh, I don't know, lending me $50. So um, would you mind? And then we use the verb with ing. We're going to study that in a moment. Right now it's just practice with the, pronunci with the pronunciation of the conversation. So I need three more volunteers. Thank you so much, Roxana, Diana, and Juan Jose for being the first ones for breaking the ice. So who are the next ones? Okay, Jennifer. Fabio and Miguel. Okay, so Harbin, 
you will go in the next heart i mean it was not harvey it was jackie i think jackie you go in the next one okay so uh ready set and who is lucia uh, the first person to raise a hand was Hi, uh -huh. and then uh fabio you will be martha and greg will be who was the last person to raise a hand me teacher Miguel. yes okay perfect go ahead i wonder if you receive a copy of the ana analysis for the production process i have thank you i have thank you Lucia. Perfect. I like us to review the step to verify the that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling us? If the cost to run a second quality control will go very high. Of course, let me revise my files. Greg, could you find out the production manager is around? I need I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Excellent. Thank you so much. That will be a second conversation. Reactions for them, please. Uh, virtual run of pluses. So nice. Okay, so again, this is a, a tricky word, okay, that we have to keep in mind. Uh, revise, right? So wait, I don't know what I did. Okay, revise. And then we continue with Jackie. Two more people to do the conversation with Jackie. Beatriz. And Harbin, okay. Beatriz, were you clapping or raising your hand? Raise my hand, teacher. Ah, okay. So we have Jackie, Harbin, and Beatriz. And Rolando, you go in the next group. So let's start. Jackie, you're the first one. You're Lucia. Uh, Beatriz, you go with Martha. And Harbin, you are Greg. Ready? Okay. Set. Yes, ready. And go. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have. Thank you. I have. Thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I like to. I like. I like us to revise revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start production, producing our new shampoo, sorry. Right, I'd like to know if the quality control step should be replied once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality process, quality control will go very high? Oh, of course, let me revise my files. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step, step it's, about, it's about. Okay, there you go. And um, so in this case, there is no more about Greg, right? But if you want to say something like, Sure, I will do that. Okay, no problem. So you can do that. You can say that to finish with Greg's participation. Now, that will be all. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Some reactions for them, please. So thank you very much for helping out and for practicing. So Rolando is alone right now. So we need two more people in order to practice the conversation with him. Rolando, Francisco, and who will be the next one? I need one more. Rolando, Francisco, and raise your hand if you're going to practice a conversation with Rolando and Francisco. Let me 
Sí. No one. How is that possible? Okay, wait a second. Somebody. I can't help them teach if you want. We, wait, wait a second. I, I know there are some volunteers, but but I have correct. to I have to find them. <laughs> okay. In this case, it will be Emilio. Emilio. <laughs> no, I think Freddy's ones. I think it's Jennifer. Freddy's, are you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, so it will be Greg. Uh, Rolando, you will be Lucia. And Francisco, you're going to be Martha. Okay, teacher. Thank you, Greg. Okay. okay. Ready, I set, want, go. I wonder if I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. Production. Uh -huh. Production process. I have. Thank you. I have. Thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I like us to receive. Revise. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I see. You change the letters. I, I <laughs> yes, got it. Yes. I got it. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Perfect. I like to. I like us to revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start production. Not producing our new shampoo. Right. I like to know if the quality control steps should be repeated once the production is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta. Would you mind tell it, telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course. Let me revise my pies. Great. Could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Okay. Thank you. Thank so, you. There you go. Congrats. And reactions for them. I'm going to use a heart this time. So we have three uh, volunteers and we're missing just a couple of you, I think. The majority of you already participated. So we're missing, let me check. We don't have enough people to do the next one. I think, yeah, we don't have enough. So uh, Gustavo, are you there? Yes, of course. Thank you. Okay, of course. Uh, I'm not sure if Brenda's microphone works because I don't see it. I don't identify it. Um, so we will need just one more person. Okay, so who would like to practice the conversation with Gustavo and me? Who would like to repeat? Okay, Diana. Uh, so, Diana, you will be, um, let me check. Martha, uh, Gustavo, you will be Lucia. Of course, you can change the names. Remember that, that you can personalize the conversation. Okay, and uh, I think Jennifer raised a hand. So Jennifer, you can be Greg. Ready? Set. Yeah, okay. And yes, you start. <laughs> Go. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis of the production process. I have, thank you. Jennifer. I have, thank you, Gustavo. Gustavo. Okay, there you go. Perfect. I like I like you to revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start production. Producing our new right. Well, I would like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Control. Okay. Yeah, that's a good point, uh, Jennifer and Diane. Would you mind telling, telling us if the cost to run a second quality control is very high? Of course. Let me revise my files. Uh, Jennifer, could you find out if the product manager is around? I need him 
Okay, we hear you kind of distant, uh, Gustavo, like your voice sounds really far from the microphone. Uh, sorry. Okay, but we could hear you, we could hear you, okay? So, really nice. And now we're done, okay? With the majority of you participating, the rest of you are driving, right, or working, so it's not possible right now to, to speak, but they are there, okay, with us. So, um, just going to re repeat, a couple of things, right? So one is production, okay? Uh, so even though you see a letter U, it's not pronounced like U. So in this case, it's production. However, when you use it in the verb, you say produce, right? So there is U, right? Produce. So it's kind of tricky, okay? Because one word can change, I mean, one letter can change the pronunciation in the same word, depending on the type of word it is. So uh, if it is a verb, you say produce. If it is a noun, you say production. If it is an adjective, you say productive. So there are two different sounds there. And then um, the other one is control. Here is not about pronunciation. Here is about stress. So you're going to stress the second syllable, right? It's not control, it's control. A quality control, then we have um, just that, I think. Remember that you need to practice connecting the, the sounds, right? Whenever possible, like find out, or when you say telling us, uh, run a second, uh, another one. If you receive the copy, receive the, right? Receive the copy of the analysis, copy of, copy of the analysis for the production process. And then you say, like us, right? I like us to revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing our, producing our new shampoo. So um, no if, and that's it. Now, you work in different companies, okay? Um, however, not all the companies are producing a product, right? Forgive the repetition, but some of you offer services. Anyways, does your company manufacture products? Yes, no. Are production processes updated frequently in your company? Is there a quality control department of your company? Those are the three questions that you're going to be discussing in the breakout rooms. So that's going to be our second activity of the night, right? So you can practice <clears throat> with your classmates so uh due to the amount of people that we have right now we're just going to have five breakout rooms let me check that they are complete one two three okay one two three and four uh one two three four yes one two three one two and three okay perfect so we're ready to go remember you are going to answer the three questions okay only that when you finish, I call you back. So you have exactly four minutes, maximum five, in case that I see that everybody's speaking, right? And you have more things to say. Ready, set, and go. Accept the invitation now. You can take a screenshot of the questions. Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm Janari. Good evening, Janari. Welcome. I'm sure for Don Connect, but I was in a, in other meeting, meeting uh, oh, okay. from yeah from 6 p.m. to 8, and I'm driving yet because I go out to my job at 4, but uh, the traffic is terrible for this wow. for this place. Yeah, uh, so okay. I, I'm, no I can. I can get it at home. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. We're going to wait for you. Don't worry. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Juan Jose, did you get an invitation? Mariela?
in almost is 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 more or less the same with the with the production. Ah, okay. Uh, what about you, Irma? Roxana? Okay. Okay, in my case, yes, we uh, manufacture products because I work in a lab and we make nice. some medicines. Yes, oh, okay. and there they have to produce a lot of pills for the flu, so much, a lot of things. But I don't do that because I am an accountant assistant. So I don't know how is the process uh, to do that. But I have a little uh, bit uh, idea about that. But yes, my company manufactures some products. And what about you, Rolando? Uh, yes, in my company, uh, manufacturing uh, a product, only one product, a newspaper. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Flor, are you there? No. Okay. No. Next. Okay, May, the uh, next. Ask the question, Luis. I don't have the. Ah, the okay. Sorry. <laughs> I will ask again. Um, are production process updated frequently in your company? Frequently. Frequently? Frequ yes. Frequently. Yes. Yes. Frequent, frequently. 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 Yeah. Frequently. 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 That's correct. Frequently. Okay. Yes. Yes. Um. Even I, I'm in charge to, to update every two or three months the the process for, for uh, installations or for, uh, sales. Okay. Uh, what about you, Roxana? Well, uh, I don't know what is update, teacher. Actualizar. Ah, okay. Yeah, uh, that's update. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> yes, they have my company, no, the production of my company uh, process. Uh, whatever, Brahms. Wow. wow, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. oh, and um, you have the, the opportunity to buy some t-shirts there or not? No, no, no. Uh, Everything is only um, producing export. and, and, and yes. export, right? Yes, because we have to under the modality to the song free. Ah, uh, yeah, the DPA or or how did it call? Yeah, Zona Frank. <laughs> yes, it's only DPA on. Oh, I uh, yes, it, it, the, the DPA is is more to to solve for the local. The DPA the the DPA is for locals. Uh, yes, but you can to export for for the USA, but mm -hmm. but you don't know exonerate for the taxes. Mm -hmm. That's However, like a like a free zone, right? Free, free zone. zone. Yeah, yes. exactly. Like mm -hmm. duty free, no mm -hmm. taxes. Uh -huh, exactly. No taxes yeah. because the product only enters to be uh, to pass to the manufacturing process and go away. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, quality. We have a uh, quality department. Uh, every every day, um, um, all products we are uh, in our company uh, are identified if uh, about quality. Mm -hmm. In this in this case, uh, don't launch for the market market uh -huh. is is um, how do you say this is this a child 
Disposed. Disposed, yes. In this case, our old product is done. Uh, for example, um, um, quality, quality control. But for all, all the step, all the process, we have quality control. Are there any other company that give us certificates or something like that for, for by the service that you provide to your customers or the students? Yes, uh, in El Salvador, um, the minister, the education minister accredited our university. In Mexico, there are two, one company that accredited, that accredited us. And in France, there are a, an institution that accredited us too. Okay, and what kind of rules or what kind of requirements do you 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 had to 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 approve for getting that certificate uh, or or it depends according to the career that you are going to develop in some career yes for example um international relationship uh, in france okay. but but uh, the the education minister, all all our career are certificate. Okay, for each one, I think. Yes. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, well, in my company, uh, uh, there is a department that review the quality of service that we provide to our customers. And this department, uh, have different methods to to getting information about the quality the quality that we provide to our customers for example survey or maybe they had uh, an email uh, uh, an email or sometimes they give you a telephone and you for by by this by this um, by these tools you get your opinion or get or say something about the service and this department check all the results and after that they go to each department to review the process and changing uh, some extent to improve the the service it's not a quality control department it's a department about customer service but we have some some companies not companies there are some institutions like superintendencia del sistema financiero or La Defensoría del Consumidor, they have some rules according to the service that you provide. In our case, is uh, is in our case, is a different kind of service that we provide. We provide financial service. According with that, we are these com these institutions review our process. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you have any question. Okay, so almost everybody's back. Yeah, we got it. 
So we're going to move on. And uh, it was really interesting to hear that even though not all the, the places where you work are really producing something like a, like, like an object, right? Like an item, all of you, well, the majority of you mentioned there is a quality control department in your company or that uh, in your company, they produce something, right? So that is evaluated. Now, um, something that you also discuss in this one is, if the processes are updated frequently, and I heard that, for example, Gustavo said that in his company, uh, they had to do that really, really frequently. So um, let me check. Raise your hand if in your company they produce something or there is a quality control department, please. So we have an idea how many people in, the, in this class uh work in a place where there is quality control okay so we have um roxana francisco fabio gustavo okay we have harvin mariela rolando awesome so we have around six seven people who uh have that experience right or at least in your company you have that experience now Based on the conversation, based on the conversation, I'm going to go back there just to show you. Based on the conversation, there is um, there are some questions, okay, that that I'm going to ask you to check your comprehension. So here we go. Let me check where is it? Right here. Check, one, two, three, here we go. So uh, you have the conversation, you have the questions, and here's the comprehension, okay? Comprehension questions. What is the new product Lucia, Martha, and Greg are discussing about? Who can give us the answer? Shampoo. A new <laughs> shampoo, correct. What are the two steps of the production process they mentioned in the conversation? What are the two steps of the production process that they mentioned? Quality. Mm -hmm. That would be the revision, right? the quality control that would be the revision step and the other one can you identify it can you spot it in the conversation the analysis for the production production process so they said that they're there um uh, would you mind telling us the well the quality control step right and then they say would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high right uh, so he needs to, well, she needs to clarify, right, what the revision step is about. So, correct. And the last question is, what did Greg suggest about the production process? What was the suggestion? Take a look. Clarify the revision step about it. About it. Clarify. Okay, clarify what the revision is. Okay, what did Greg suggest about the production process? Greg, okay, right here you can see Greg. What did you find? So he was asking about if the, the quality control step should be repeated right once the product is finished. So uh, that's all that we have for this exercise. And next, coming up next, we have this trended island. What are you going to be doing in this activity? I don't know if you ever uh, done this in any language, right? But it's really simple, but interesting. You are going to imagine that you are, uh, Let's say that you were in a boat on, a, on the Titanic, whatever, and then you had you uh, let, there was a shipwreck, and you find yourself 
alone in a deserted island. So there is no one else. But you have the opportunity to take with you, to take with you, let's say four things. You can take four things with you to survive for, I don't know how much time until somebody finds you. Okay, so I need you to think, okay, I'm going to give you 30 seconds to think about those four things that you would take with you to survive by yourself in an island. Let's say, let's say for one month, being optimistic for one month. Okay, so. Is that possible? Uh, yes. Yeah. It's not the island like the picture, right? It's a bigger island, so you can find some. Uh, okay. some okay. you, can, you, can, you can find some animals okay. and uh, I did, I chose that one just to make it more dramatic, right? But now, um, maybe so. search water or looking water. What? Maybe search. No. Okay, or, or right, now, the, or... right now, I'm, I'm not going to say anything. It's, a, it's an island, okay, it's a normal island, okay? But you are alone, okay? So you only have four things that you can take with you. So please, write down the four things in your notebook so you don't forget about them think why you are selecting those items how you're going to use them okay and you are going to go to the breakout room okay to share to your information the four items that you selected and say why you selected each of them okay then you're going to receive some comments from your classmates right some feedback it's not possible that you change your list, okay? As you are listening to your class, ah, oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. I'm going to eliminate this and write this one. No, just the four that you mentioned, okay? And you don't have an, a second opportunity to take something else. Okay, so the point is that you're going to speak uh, about every item and why and how, okay? Why you selected that one and how you're going to use it, okay? To survive for one month by yourself. Is that clear? Okay. Uh, as a bonus, I am going to give you one object. And the object is going to be a volleyball with a happy face. And the name is Wilson. Wilson, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you are, you are not completely alone. Now, if you know about movies, you know the reference. Okay, so I am going to create a breakout room so that you can have uh, the opportunity to interact with more people. And this time we're going to have new breakout rooms. Let me recreate them. Okay, here we go. Uh, the room number one is complete. Room number two, same. Room number three, yes. Number four and number five. So I'm just going to move one person here. Check. Perfect. And one person from here. So we're ready to go. Blanca is in the house. Yes, I'm here. Sorry, my car. Uh, well, I have a problem with my car, but I'm at home right now. Okay, thank God. Okay, so the groups are, yeah, are good. Ready to go? How much time do you have for this? Good question, Emilio. You have exactly eight minutes, eight minutes, maximum 10, just in case you are telling all your survival experience, right? So ready, set, and go.
lot of things because there are pants, shirts, and those things. Teacher, we have to say, well, we can say clothes or that's too much things. That's too many things, yeah. Because I wanted to say first I ID kit. And you in can the, take and, a first aid kit, but the normal one, yeah. First aid kit, yes. Because sort of that involves sunscreen, repellent, but I don't know if that are... <laughs> No way. <laughs> those are those are no. <laughs> no, those are not included. No. Oh my we, god! We have teacher. only four things. Only medicine in the oh, first, first aid kit. Yeah. I'm gonna die. I can't. Sorry. Oh my god. Okay. And can it, I it say food? Happen. And that involves water and food. No. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> You For have to one say thing, you can say one, I mean, I don't know, one bag of beans, but that's it. So, oh my God. I'm gonna lie. I prefer to lie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, you first, guys, because I, yeah, I think had the, the voice another have, kind have of more ideas. Uh -huh. I, have, I have four things. Take if you are in my the island i only and have two yeah, things. Would, only would, four things yeah 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 I would, no i will take a machete okay a machete and i will take uh a, a, a cooking pot let's see i will take hmm. Machete, a cooking pot. Water. Yeah, yeah, and it's necess necessary to, to cook. Drinking water. water. Yeah, but, uh, and I need, I select a lighter because I don't like to stay with that rock tuck, 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 <laughs> to, to turn it on the, the, the fire. Yeah, the lighter is so easy. <laughs> exactly. And, uh, mm -hmm. And a sheet because uh, you can uh, uh, be more comfortable at night. Yeah, you cover with that sheet uh, and you really. There's, um, they take care of your, yourself about the dangerous or wild animals. Uh, you in the in the last one. I am trying to find help in all islands, for example. I think this for us. Mm -hmm. What do you think or what do you do in, in this case if you alone in an island? Well, if I were alone in an island, I think that the idea that you have are really good ones, but I have been thinking what will you do or what will I do if I were alone? Mm -hmm. But the first one, try to help, try to to find food. Maybe could be coconuts or some foods that could be in the place. The other, <laughs> yes. And the other one, yeah, I agree with you, Should, would be a place where I could be safe for the wa the water or also for any animals. Yes. Um let me see. I I just think that the the things. Okay. 
it's, it's really it's really uh, complicated uh, when you are alone in in this case in island you 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 don't you don't know what what uh, for example do in this moment yes it is a difficult situation yes yes it's a difficult situation yes i have never been in this situation <laughs> i hope i hope not to be in a, in this kind of situation <laughs> yes okay. yeah because where where i live with my with my mom mm -hmm. um, once i i visited a a place that was so far it, it is an island islands close to apulo mm, okay. that is called isla del amor mm. <laughs> I, but, I, I know this, this island. yeah but yeah and it's beautiful but it's mm -hmm. not it wasn't cruel and my mom, uh, my mom uh, left us there with my cousin and my younger sister. And it ha uh, it happened many hours and she didn't come back. So we was buried. Uh, so I swam a long distance just to go to the other place where my mom was because we were buried and also worried because we we uh didn't eat anything while we were in the islands <laughs> and my mom took a lot a long time doing i don't know okay yeah <laughs> It's a uh, uh, interest, interesting. Yeah, it gets uh, funny because difficult to be in a in an in an island alone. Mm -hmm. But uh, I sure. think that yes, I think that we can survive if you have fire and water and. I managed to get some food. Yes, um, but I think that not all the people can survive because some people uh, are afraid with the insects. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and all those yeah. things. And also being yeah. alone kind of yeah. make you crazy. <laughs> yeah, we need to, to have a, a friend to yeah. similar. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you say humo, teacher? Smoke. Smoke. Yeah, smoke. Maybe Did everybody finish? Yes. Smoke. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we need to make a uh, smoke for the insect. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mosquitoes. That could work. That could work. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. that don't kill us. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. <laughs> Let me just check one more group to see if they finish and then I'm going to call you back. But I I don't don't I can imagine another thing that can be useful. Well, I yes. bring my mom. <laughs> if yes, I maybe. can. <laughs> you need it. Yeah, I need it. I need her. Okay. Okay, okay, so everybody finished? Yes, I yes. think yes. Okay, perfect. So let's go back to the main room. All right, so 
round, let's say that would be a round three. <laughs> it's over. So we're going to continue with the next one. Um, with a reaction, how, how was this activity for you? How much do you, do you, do you like it? Let no. me, okay, we're missing some people. So probably they're still talking. Okay, so it was good. Yes. Was it, was it a little bit like worrying or concerning? Like you imagine being in that position you were a little bit scared? Maybe. Because do not have a help for whatever person. Correct. Okay, so what was the item? Okay, right now that everybody's back, I think. Let me check. Now that everybody's back, I am going to make a little survey, a quick survey, asking about uh, what was the item that was the most repeated or what were the items that were the most repeated? So in the breakout room number one, we had Diana, Harbin, and Gustavo. What was the item or what were the items that two or the three of you had in common? A lot water. of water. Knife. A lot of water. <laughs> water a and a big knife, they and said. A knife. Okay, a big knife. A machete, right? Teacher. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do, teacher, <laughs> did you yes, know yes. that Gustavo were in Africa? Yeah, he mentioned that at one time. <gasps> oh my Africa. God, I'm really impressive. <laughs> Why? I can't believe that because it was very dangerous, <laughs> your story. <laughs> It was cool. I think that he was in Wakanda. Um, <laughs> Near Wakanda, Wakanda forever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a knife and a lot of water. So let's say that they had a big bottle of water, right? So that's one item. So um, let's go with the room, room number two. Mariela, Blanca, Freddy, and Juan Jose. What were the items that were the most repeated in your lists? The knife or the, the machete. Knife? Or machete. 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 Everybody thinks about killing, you see? That's the natural instinct. Uh huh. Well, it <laughs> can be for make another thing for like a. Like a pedicure, a manicure. <laughs> like an improved, improved house or something like that. You have, have to, to build cook. a house. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. You have to cook. I don't know how to say ramas. <laughs> how do you say ramas? How do you say? Branches. Branches. Uh, in plural, in branches. singular is branch, branch, and in plural is branches. branches. Yeah, branches. Okay, branches. Okay, yeah. you can get a haircut, you can, you can shave your beard. Yeah, you can do a well, lot of things. Well, yeah. I don't have beard, but No, yeah. that's for men, that's for men, I mean. <laughs> okay, so knife and that's it. Rule number three, eh, Beatriz, Jackie, and Rolando. A knife. Knife. Knife and a lighter. Yeah. A match box. Or a, a, okay, a, a match box, okay? Box of matches. Um, yeah. Um, it has to be a, a good brand, right? So that it can survive. Uh, let me check. The next one is Francisco, Roxana, and Fabio. He was water. Uh huh. Uh, something to make fire because Irma say uh, fire. I don't. Maybe a lighter, and I say a glass to make fire. So a glass. A glass. Like you see in the movies, they use glass and the sun to make a ah a magnifying glass. A magnifying glass. Okay. As I was thinking about the glass for the beers or the what? Knife too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, it could work. It could work. <laughs> and then we have the last one, Jennifer and Miguel. You were having a discussion too about the items. Which one was? Uh, mentioned a lot. Well, by the two of you. Teacher, in uh, we're talking about um, it was very common to survive. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, looking for some food, beware of 
weird or dangerous animal, for mm -hmm. example, and uh, try to find help in over the island, um, like signal or or uh, some device, uh -huh. in this case, cell phone or uh, whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, probably somebody mentioned cell phone, right? Or any technological device. However, you know that uh, the battery wouldn't last too much. So not sure that would be the best option, but you could try to, to, to call or contact someone. Um, now, we're going to check who's here right now, Beatriz. I'm here. Ariela. Ariela. I'm here. Okay, Blanca. Thank you. I'm here. Diana. Present. Floor. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Uh, Francisco. Freddy's. I'm here. Okay, we continue with Jackie. Laura. I'm here. Laura, are you there? Welcome. Hello. Good, good Hello, evening. Good evening. Marvin. <laughs> Present no. teacher. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Uh, yeah, you can survive. I ate garro, so that's that's another survival skill that I learned in Samuel. Okay. Juan <laughs> Jose. Yeah, I did it once. I'm here. I'm here. Never again. Yeah. But well, you never know, right? In extreme situations, Gustavo. Yes, yes, yes. I'm here. Okay, uh, Miguel, Fabio. I'm here, I'm here. Okay, Rolando. I'm here. Janari. And Roxana. Present teacher. Okay, there you go. I mentioned Yanaris, right? So if she complained that I forgot about her, it's not true, mm -hmm. okay, this time. <laughs> now, we're going to continue with the round two. Did you like the activity? Yes. Okay, so I, I think it was not so cool because you were thinking, okay, I can die, right? So I, I prefer to die in that, try to survive with only four things. But I'm going to go to the round two so that you have the chance to talk about something different, okay? And the question that you're going to do, but you have to be very specific, okay? You have to make numbers, okay? Is what would you do if you won one or a million dollars? What would you do? Just $1 million. That's it. No more. Think about the future, not just the, the moment that you have the money. So what would you do with $1 million? Only $1 million. I always it. think about okay. that. <laughs> so now you're going to be, be thinking a lot about that. So I'm going to give you just, um, let's say, 30 seconds for you to think about something that you could do, like take, take some notes, right? And uh, then I will send you back to the breaker rooms this time with new people so you can interact with other classmates to express what you would do if you had that amount of money. Okay, 10 more seconds. And time is up. So what you're going to do right now is to share with your classmates. Let me check that I because I think there's one. Okay, so I'm going to make one group here. Wait a second. So you're going to share specifically what you would do if you want $1 million, okay? And of course, you're going to give some reason. I need to write well. You don't have to write it, you just have to speak, right? Okay. Yeah, 
that's okay. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three. Good luck. Who wants to be a millionaire? Room number. Freddy's, did you get the invitation? Check it out. I have to. In the first step, I have to play the lottery because I, I don't play that, but I always think about that. <laughs> but in this but, case, it, you you have the money. So yeah, yeah, I have the money. Yeah, I always think about that. It's uh, I think if uh, a bag uh, came from the sky and, and, and <laughs> falls in my house, <laughs> And it's a million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> I make castles in the sky. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I think of no, no, not not necessary, not necessary. Land. Heart. I, I don't know which is the different. I, I I know the different, but in this in this case I don't know how the does stay. Um I think that it's land. Uh-huh. Is correct or what do you hurt? what what do you want to say? To invest uh, in the land property. Ah uh, yeah, lands. Yeah, you can buy uh, lands. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yes, because the land um, each um, year or with the time uh, you have more, but uh, if you invest in house, not. The house okay, but how much money will you invest in that? Because remember, you have to administrate one million. So, um, yes, uh, in invasion in, in, in it's an investment. Is, uh -huh. Yes, and uh, I think that um, I would like to travel a little, not much, a little. I would like to know um, New Zealand, for example. <laughs> New Zealand. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a yes. good destination. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And so you pay in, in one time the, the house, you can receive uh, almost $9,000 each month mm -hmm. only with okay. six houses. That's it. For okay. that, I so tell you. you <laughs> only will, six houses. You will invite, invite us to Pupusa <laughs> every Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. really, really nice. For me, uh, I would like to buy if I won a million million dollar, I would like to buy a house in Chalatenango, uh, for example, in yes, in yes. Uh, El, El Pital, for example. This uh weather and, and you, good weather. You can Miguel, you can you can put or you can make a, a company, a chocolate company there. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I I <laughs> I put the new processes, the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice. That would be great. It's a dream. It's a dream, but Yes, it's a dream because now I had in my pocket, I don't know, like two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Just you kidding me. It's difficult to warm. No. Why yeah. not? For example, when I was working the uh, outside of from Salvador, mm -hmm. I I can buy my my own my own house. Mm -hmm. So 
in Aguachapan, I have two houses right now. Really? Mm -hmm. And you rent this house or? One. one is for rent and the another one is where, where I live. You live there? Yes, I live there. Ah, you don't live in San Salvador? Yes, with my dad when the Monday to Friday. <laughs> Friday in the evening, I take my car and I'm running for for Aguachapan. Aguachapan. And, and, and rest all the weekend there. I don't change the the weather and the environment from Aguachapan to San Salvador. I think that I will I will do a lot of things, but they are the the main uh, things that I will do. Okay, okay really. really. Uh, Roxana, do you like to invert in bitcoins? Ah, uh, yes, because I I would like to know all that. Um, I don't know. I think that is new, new, but I I feel a little bit afraid because it's new and we have to to try it. So yes, I will. Uh, different places, right? Excuse but me, Jennifer. You say that read. you say that you like to visit different places, right? But have you ever visited other countries in America or Europe? I had visited Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, and Guatemala. And I visit the United States. Uh, three years, no, five years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I often visit different places in El Salvador because I would like to know new places. How many children do you have? I had two. And they traveled with me. All the time. That's with my husband too. Thing. With my husband too. <laughs> How old are your children, Beatrice? Uh, my younger is uh, 10 years old and the older mm -hmm. is 12 years old. 12. Uh, yes. Oh How old are you, Beatrice? Years. Sorry to be a snobby because. No, don't Junior worry. Young but I know yeah. I look very young. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you look young, but you're young. That's a joke. I'm sorry, no, it's yeah. true. You look very young. I had 42. 42. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. And you, Jacqueline? I have 38. 30 years. Okay. 38 years old. I have or I am? I'm sorry, I'm I am. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, it was a big, big, big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> now, I am 38 years old. And, you have, two, and you have two children too? I have three. Three, oh. The older is 18. 18. 18. 12 and 10. 12 and 10, exactly. <laughs> I have a, a good memory. <laughs> yeah. I write, I write down. <laughs> no, it's a joke. <laughs> and, Jennifer, and Jennifer is thinking right now, having children, not right now. <laughs> no, thank you, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. we. Rec I recommend that. No, is is not the moment, Jennifer. <laughs> I don't. See and so. now, Laura. That's right. We'll be using some. And of imagine that if is if that is your your foul team so so. Soccer. Soccer team. Uh, 
Soccer team. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, it was a in Salvador, we, we played with um, Qatar one or two year, uh, months ago. I don't remember. I think it was last month. Yes. And it sadly lost. <laughs> yeah, I think, I, I no, think that in Salvador uh, usual, did, did a good... Usual. No, but they played but, really well the second yeah, half. I, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they played really good. They were about to tie the game. And on Thursday, they are going to play soccer with United States. Yes. Do well, you think so we are going to win? The class. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Good job, teacher. So positive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And we finish with the exercise, teacher. Okay, excellent. Yeah, time is up. Okay, thank you. See you in the main session, guys. Bye. Bye, bye. Yeah. Okay, I think we're complete now. So, uh, breakout room number one. Let's see, Francisco, Roxana, and Rolando. Francisco, what was one of your classmates' idea that really caught your attention? Uh, so you for said, example, that's a good idea. Uh -huh. Yes, for example, Roxana said that. Uh, she like to help to person in, for example, in a hospital with me to care. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's a really uh, altruistic, right, uh, idea. Excellent. Yes. Okay, breakout room number two. Uh, we had um, Jennifer, no, yeah, Jennifer, Jackie, Beatriz, and we had Laura too. So what idea caught your attention? What idea do you think was really good? A really good idea for investing the money or for using the money? Create an um, organization to help people. Okay, so to create a non-profitable organization, right? Uh, an NGO. Uh, That'll be non-governmental organization, okay, to help people, like a charity or something like that, right? Um, okay, breakout room number three. We have Flor, Gustavo, and Miguel. Mention one idea that was really, really good. Hello? So I'm going to go on to the next one. Gustavo, Miguel, Flor. Are you there? Teacher, can you hear? Can you yes. hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay, okay. Uh, we're talking about uh, um, uh, help uh, some people, for example, or family uh, in buy a house in different places and uh, paid our, our, our loan, for example. <laughs> Pay all your loans. Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> Pay all the debts. Okay. Yes. That's the first thing I think. Yes. <laughs> Once you pay the debts, the most you, important. Can, you can organize everything else in your life. Okay. <laughs> I agree with you. Thank you. Okay. So, yes. Really good ideas. Nobody has mentioned if I get $1 million, I'm going to give some to the teacher, but that's okay. No worry. Yes, teacher, some pupusas. <laughs> I'm going to invite a teacher to some On pupusas. some days, cactus okay. and succulents. You're going to send me some cactus and succulents. Okay. I like that idea too. Let's go, let's go with the room number five. We have Diana, Juan Jose, Fabio, and Yanari. Uh, we were talking about to invest in different things. Invest in different things. Yeah. Uh, for example? 
Uh, Juan Jose were saying in lands. Uh, Fabio were saying in houses. In property, like houses. Properties, yeah. And that's it. And random. Okay. <laughs> and uh -huh. random. Okay. So, yes, you had that idea. I think that it was uh, Juan Jose who mentioned that he wanted to buy lands, right? That invest in, in, in that. Okay, and then we have the last one that was Mariela, Blanca, Freddy's, and Harvey. The best idea that I heard in my in my team in my group was Freddy's idea because he want to have a, a a small bank and he want to make more money. Okay. Use money to make more money. I totally agree with you. <laughs> okay, so uh, excellent. Thank you so much, and I hope that you enjoyed having, the, I mean, doing these activities, these two activities, uh, sharing different ideas. Right. The most important thing is that you were speaking, and that's what I want. Now we're going to move on, and uh, next thing is about what I told you, right? In the conversation, you pay attention to some specific structures that were used. Uh, right here, we finish with the $1 million. So here we have the use of indirect questions. Um, this can be a tricky topic because probably you use, I mean, you have used this or you have heard people using it, but you don't know exactly why it is like that. So I will try to uh, give you a simple explanation, right? Uh, how to use this. So the first definition is there. Uh, Fabio, can you please help me read the definition or the use? Uh, the definition of uh, the first indirect one. Direct question, uh -huh. yes. Use indirect question to ask question in a more polite manner an indirect question expresses expresses the same meaning as the as a direct question, but it does not present question word order. Question okay, or, question, question word, word order. order. That's correct. So there are some keywords here. Okay. So the first one is, that I can tell you is that the order is totally different to I mean to the normal questions that we know. Okay, so it doesn't look like a question, but it's a question. So it's indirect, or you can say indirect. That's all right. So um, the other thing is polite. Okay, that's the other word that I'm going to highlight here. Polite. So you can be, uh, I mean, indirect questions are a more polite manner to ask questions, to ask for something. For example, what is a question that people don't normally like being asked at the beginning, right? When you're having a conversation with someone, let's suppose that you go to a party, you like someone and it's like, hey, what's your phone number? Uh, okay. Chances are that you're not going to get a, you're not going to get a good answer. First of all, because the question is very direct and very personal. So, uh, in this case, in these scenarios, right, the indirect questions can help you. So instead of asking, hey, what's your phone number? You can ask, I was wondering if you could give me your phone number so that we can continue, I mean, talking and we can see each other again. So I was wondering if you could give me your phone number if, or if I could have your phone number, right? Uh, so that we can continue talking. And you are like, oh, continue talking. Yeah, we could, right? It's totally different than just, hey, what's your phone number? All right, so that's the point. And if you pay attention in the example that I mentioned, what's your phone number is a normal structure, a normal order of a question. We have the WH question, what's, uh, what is the, the auxiliary verb, what is uh, your phone number? So. Your phone number, that would be the subject and the, and the, and the complement, right? So uh, what's your phone number? That's a normal structure and the question mark at the end. Now, if I say, I was wondering, or I wonder 
if you could give me your phone number. I wonder if you could give me your phone number. Or I wonder if I could have your phone number. So um, what is the structure of that of that sentence? The verb is in past. But it looks like a question or it looks like a sentence. I wonder if you could give like me your sentence. phone number. It looks like a sentence, right? So that is an indirect question. So teacher, hello. if the the part that said I wonder that will be always in present like that. I wonder. No, no I was no, no. wonder. No, you can use different different forms. Uh you can say I was wondering. Uh I would like to know. That is in the number two, as you, if you can see. So there are many different structures. It's not just I wonder. Uh, so I am going to go on here. So that, those are the two characteristics. It's more polite than the direct questions and it doesn't have the same order. Okay, so the words go in a different order. So in this case, I wonder if you could, right? Give me your phone number. If you could, you could, right? So it's not could you, it's you could. So you change. The subject goes first and the verb goes second, okay? Um, it can be a model verb, it can be auxiliary verb. So um, number one, A, floor, thank you. Me? Yep, one A. Um, I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. Okay. Compare it to? Compare it to Beatriz, one B. Did you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process? Okay, so those are two different, different questions, but the same idea. So that's the example 1A and 1B. So let's go on with the next one, 2A and 2B. And I am going to ask Mariela, can you please read 2A? And Gustavo, you read I, C. Okay. I'd like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Compare it to. Uh -huh. Gustavo? To what B. number, please? To B. To B. Should, should the quality control step be, be repeated? Once the product is finished. Once the product is finished. Okay, good. I'd like to know. Okay, I like to know. Uh, you know where you can you can use this um, these indirect questions very very frequently in an everyday basis or on daily basis. For example, when you're asking about the time. So normally. Uh, you ask the question, uh, what time is it? But if it is someone that you don't know and you are on the bus, for example, or on the bus stop, uh, and you are like, hey, what time is it? And it's like, okay. So it doesn't feel so well, right? But if somebody tell you, hey, um, I wonder if you could give me the time, if you could tell me the time, or I, uh, could you please give me the time, right? So that would be, an, uh, another another polite question but i wonder if you could give me a time i like to know what time it is i like to know what time it is it's it's the same question but in a more polite manner i like to know what time it is me gustaría saber qué hora es i like to know so um in this case we're using if right but obviously uh, it's because we are using yes, no questions. So, uh, for example, do you want to go to the movies? That's a direct question. No, thank you. But uh, if it is an indirect question, you say, uh, I'd like to know if you would like to go to the movies with me. 
So that's an indirect question. I would like to know. It's like I give you a chance to say yes or no, right, in a polite way. I would like to know. So if you say no, I don't feel so bad because it's a polite question. It's an indirect question, right? So it sounds like that. Now, let's go on with the next ones. Jackie, please read 1A on the right side. Martha. Okay, Martha. Martha, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Compare it to? Compare it to, Rolando, 1B. Okay, 1B. Will the cost to run a second quality control go very high? Will the cost, okay, go very high? And that's the example using, would you mind, plus the verb in ING. So, would you mind telling me the time? Would you mind um, repeating the question? Okay, because I didn't hear you well. So. That is another structure that we can use. And finally, 2A. For the 2A, Laura, can you please help us out? 2A, Greg. Hello? I cannot hear you, Laura. We're just having some issues with the microphone. So, Harbin? Would you mind helping us out? Yes, the okay. number two, two eight. eight. Yeah. Okay, great. Could you find out if the product manager is around? Okay. Compare, Compare it to? to. Okay. Compare it to uh, Blanca. Yes. To be. Is the production okay? Is the production manager around? Okay, so that's it. So, um, if you ask a question, hey, could you find out if the production manager is around? It feels like a favor, right? But if you say, is the production manager around? I don't know. So, it's very rude, very straight. So, that's the point of indirect questions. We can use them to be more polite, to sound let's say uh, not so direct, so rude sometimes, right? Uh, for example, imagine that you want to know uh, somebody's name, right? Hey, what's your name? It's like, uh, why do you want to know, right? But if you go to the, if you approach the person, right? And you are like, hey, I'm sorry for asking, but would you mind telling me what your name is? Or could I ask you what your name is? So in that moment, you you have a different reception from the person, right? Because you are being polite. Okay, sure. Uh, my name is Freddy, right? So um, that's just an example about the difference between direct and indirect questions. Now let's go to the to the second part. Notice that if if, as I was telling you, right, introduces what? The, the indirect, indirect if. Indirect question. question. Which will have sentence order. Subject plus verb. Helping verbs like do, does, and did are not included in indirect questions. For example, do you know, for example, do you know where, like, the park? Where is the park? Where is the park is direct question. Now, how can you ask that question in an indirect way? Where is the park? That's the direct question. Where is the park? Ask the indirect form, please. Would you mind telling me where the park is? Excellent. Would you mind telling me where the park is? So we use is, that is a verb, at the end, because we say where the park is. So it's the subject, 
the part and the verb is at the end. So it's totally different, okay? Now, another common question, right? Another common question. So we talk about time, we talk about personal information, and we talk about um, allocation, asking or giving for directions, right? Uh, when you ask about someone, when you ask about someone, for example, do you, okay, let's suppose, who is the teacher in this, in this classroom? Who is the teacher? That's the direct question. What would be the indirect question? Will you tell me who is the name of the teacher? Would you, could you tell me? The name of the teacher? Could you tell me the name of the teacher? Okay, uh, in that case, it's a still direct question. Could you tell me the name of the teacher? But if you say, for example, could you tell me uh, who the teacher in this classroom is? Then that becomes an indirect question, okay? Because Ooh, you, okay. Change, you change the order. Very good, nice try, nice try. Now, let's look at the punctuation. So, um, when the introductory segment is a phrase, for example, uh, let's say uh, in direct question, we'll Is take there... a period and not a question mark at the end. Hello? If you use do, it's a direct question. If you say, do you know who the teacher is? Uh, no. In this case, it's indirect question too. Because you, uh, have, you have, do you know? That's a question structure. Yeah. Who the teacher is, that's indirect. Because it has a no. different order. A different word order. So, in that case, you continue with the question format at the beginning, do you know? But the complement is not direct. So who okay. the teacher is? So that's a, another example of indirect question. Very good, when you use a question mark. But if the introductory is, is a phrase like, I wonder, I like to know. Uh, so in that case, you finish the sentence with a period, not with a question mark. Okay, and you can see the examples, 1A, 1B, 2A, and 2B on the left, okay, right here. So in this part, we have the examples. Now, punctuation, when the introductory segment is a question, like the example that Frey was giving right now, or the examples that you have here, or the example that Francisca mentioned, the resulting statement with the indirect question will take a question mark at the end. Okay, so we have the question mark here, right? So um, it is a question with a question mark, but it's indirect. Because if you see, could you find out this part is a question? But what is the difference? The complement. Could you find out? That's a question. Structure. Auxiliary verb, good. Subject, you. Find out is a verb. If the production manager is around, the production manager subject is, is a verb. So the order is different. And that is the second part that is indirect. Now we're going to complete some exercises for you to understand this topic a little bit better. If you have a question, please let me know. Okay, here we have the examples. I'm going to erase or delete all the annotations. So, Number one, um, can you tell me, is the machinery capable of performing these processes? Okay, how can you structure the indirect question here? Let's do it together, okay? Let's do it together. Can you tell me the machinery capable of performing these processes? Hmm. In this case, you are missing one word that is in the middle when it's a yes, no question. If. Could you tell me Aha. if? Can you tell me? If. If, very good. I'm going to write it with big letters, with capital letters. If the machinery, uh-huh, the machinery what? Capable of the performing these processes. We're missing one if. verb. 
or Mrs. He's the verb. Capable. He's, He's capable. He's capable. Uh -huh. Is. So you see, we change the position, right? Okay. The machinery is. Is is the machinery? The machinery is. Is capable, and then you complete the sentence, right? Capable of performing this process. Okay, so that's correct. So we go with the number two. These processes, okay, good. Do we use a question mark or no? Question mark. Yes. yes, okay, yes, we use a question mark. Okay, number two, I like to know, ah, that's a phrase. Will the manufacturer buy the new machinery new machinery to produce our orders on time? Okay. How would you structure this in direct question? Gentlemen, you're very quiet today. I like to know. It's a yes, no question. So what is the word that we, it goes in the middle? If. If. If the manufacturer will. Will. I, Will what? Will buy new machinery, machinery? machinery to produce mm -hmm. our orders on time. Yes. Now, do we finish the, the sentence or the question with a period or with a question mark? With a period. Mm -hmm. With a period. That's correct. I like to know if the manufacturer will buy new machinery to produce our mothers, I, I mean our orders on time. Period. So number three, four, five, and six are for you to complete. But in this case, we don't have that much time. So let's do number three by yourself. And then you do the four, five, and six uh, at home, right? So number three, let's do it here together. I'm not going to participate. So no teacher in this moment. Number three. Do you know? If, if the schedule. schedule in production are control form no 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 production control forms are complete. Do you know mm -hmm. if the schedule and production control forms are complete? Do you agree with this possible answer or this possible question? Yes. yes. Yeah. All right, so it is correct. So please complete four, five, and six, and we'll check it tomorrow, okay? Complete, it will be in past, uh, I mean, completed. Uh, just complete. you, can, you can use both. You can use both. Okay. Yeah, it's like open. Uh -huh. Yeah. So um, now, complete the other two, okay, by yourself. And right now we're going. I mean, the other three by yourself. We check them tomorrow. Remember that tomorrow is writing and reading Wednesday. So we're going to practice a little bit more writing and a little bit of reading. Okay. So here we have the last part of today's session. So. It is related to vocabulary and steps. So in this chart, we have the steps of the production process for a shampoo. Uh, you're going to match the steps with their tasks, with the corresponding tasks. So you will do this quickly in the, in the breakout room. So please take a screenshot. I am going to send it to the breakout room just for two minutes and you will do the matching together. Okay, take a screenshot. You will have, let me check. Yeah, two minutes. My teacher. Hello? My. Nine. What? I got lost. I don't know what happened. <laughs> okay. So, ready, set, and go. 
as a limitation just to complete this exercise. Okay, excellent. Three, one, two, and three. Okay, perfect. Oh, smile. <laughs> okay. Let me check. I'm going to the break room one. Falling? That's In right. In a bus and mix. I think that's a mix. All the raw, mm. mater raw materials are poured. Poured in a batch and mix it. Well, the raw is the correct way to say it. Raw materials are raw. 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 Raw, raw materials. Oh, raw. raw materials, yeah. Bold. Hello, hello. Okay, uh, can you see the screen? Yes. Okay. We, we, we are the sky, the sky the for the meaning of the mix for example for it to control in, filter in, in the case of mix i think the, the answer is the borders are moving moving to another machine that that puts a cap on every bottle and twist them tight mm -hmm. Mix, mix for mix for mix yeah mm -hmm. the conveyor belt tape the bottles to the machine where the labels with ingredients and the brand name is to come then mm, not i think that's not the one i don't know <laughs> the um uh, labeling. 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 Yeah. Labeling. Lay. <laughs> mm -hmm. The conveyor bill takes the bottles to the machine where the label, the labels with ingredients and the brand name is struck on them. This is number five. The raw material um, oral in a batch of um, mix. Uh -huh. Okay, you see, if you see packing is here, it's the number six. If you agree from, with me, the yes or no? Tell me, please. Yes, that is number six. And I think mix is like Francisco said. Okay, so we're done. I'm just going to check. Uh that everybody's here and please uh, you Not can write you, you can write down in the chat the the order that you think is the correct one okay the numbers you can write separate them by comma if you want okay some volunteers from each group or one volunteer from each group to write down the the order you think is correct and tomorrow we're going to work in teams again right so that you can think about what steps you need to follow in order to create your product so, uh, Beatriz, <laughs> are you there? Mariela? I'm here. Blanca? Yes, I'm here. Okay. I'm Diana. here, teacher. Nice, Mariela. <laughs> Flor and Francisco? Present, teacher. I'm here, teacher. Fredis and Laura? I'm here. Here, teacher. 
Jackie and Harbin. Present. Okay, Jennifer and Juan Jose. I'm here, teacher. I'm here too. Okay, Gustavo and Miguel. Yep. I'm Mario here, teacher. And Rolando. I'm hello, here. hello. Hello, hello. Na Roxana and Janari. Okay, now, eh, according to the chat, some people say that is. Check. What happened? I cannot see the chat. Okay. Jenna said that is three, five, four, one, six, and two. Two. Do you agree with that order? Yes. Three, five, four, one, six, two. Yes, I agree. I agree. And yes, I agree too. So in this case, that's the correct order, okay? Tomorrow we're going to practice the vocabulary with the definitions and we're going to work in teams. So right now I'm going to stop with the with sharing the screen. The, yes, you got it, you got it. Yeah. It, was, it was not so easy to do because I didn't give you a lot of time, but you did it. So uh, thank you so much guys for one more day, uh, having fun and learning with you. I hope that you got something new today and I suppose that you're going to be thinking about the million dollars for before you go to sleep. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So or or that you're what would you would do in an island, right? So have a good night, everybody. Uh today remember that tomorrow we're taking the group picture, so everybody must be here with the cameras ready. And uh Juan Jose as I told you yesterday, right? You're going to stay for the last minutes. Yes. Okay, teacher. Thank you Good for night. everything. Good night, Good night everyone. Good night, Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. See you. Thank you. Have Good a night. night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Au revoir. See you. Bye bye, Laura. <clears throat> okay, Juan Jose, here we are. Um, so tell me, how can I help you? What can I do for you tonight in this final okay. minute? Okay, yes, I, I'm, I have a little problem. Uh, when the contraction worked, example um, it's not necessary a uh, phrase of verb it's not necessary uh, I have a little I have a little problem when pronouns to contraction word to understand mm -hmm. I, I think that is a little difficult for me and I don't know how to improve that contractions yes for example, uh, for example, when you say I like, you make a contraction. Uh huh. So okay. the problem, the problem for you is the pronunciation or the understand or understand the the contractions. Yes, when you when you say it, uh, mm -hmm. sometimes for me it's difficult to. To understand, um, it, it's more difficult for me. Sometimes. Okay. okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. So let me share the screen so that I can show you the most common uh, contractions that we use. Okay, in English. So the one that you were telling me. Well, let's go from the basic ones, right? So the basic ones are with the bird to be. So for example, for I am, the contraction is I'm. I'm. Okay, yes. I'm. For uh, you are your. 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 Yes. Your. Okay, your. 
And then for, let's say she is. She's. We say cheese with the sound Z at the end. Cheese. She's my friend. Okay. So cheese. Now, uh, I'm your cheese. So this is the way that we make the, the contractions with the three forms of the verb be. M, is, and R. Now, uh, when you are using other verbs, for example, the mention would. Like, for example. Would. Yes, I, I would. I would. The contraction is I. I. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. uh, if it is you would, you you say you'd. Okay, you'd. Mm -hmm. So the apostrophe D is a contraction for this. I'm going to change the format. So you you differentiate them, right? And it say we say he is. I mean he would. Sorry. Say he'd. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, the the expression "would" is a modal verb. I don't know if is the, the name. So, it's, in it's, the case of in the case of "would" in Spanish, it's only to add the "ia" ending. Solo para yes. agregar el "ia". Mm -hmm. We have to accompany it with a verb. Tenemos que acompañarlo con un verbo para que tenga sentido. Así solo no. no yes, yes. L no, like, uh, for example, when when you say I'd like to know, uh -huh. I'd like. I would like. Uh -huh. I'd like. Uh -huh. I'd like. So the contraction is just a short form that we that we can use. Okay. The people use it a lot in the U in the United States, for example. <coughs> they use it a lot. Um, in order to reduce the time they speak, right? Or in order to reduce their speech so they don't complicate too much. For example, when you have will, I will, the contraction will be I'll. If you say you will, or let's say we will, you. we will, so you say will. will. Will, uh huh, will. And the last one would be, mm -hmm. let's suppose, it will. It will rain tomorrow. It will let rain tonight. It'll, it'll. If it is he'll or she'll or it'll, in this case, it'll. So, the same, right? It's a, it's I will. Mm -hmm. The apostrophe okay. LL, that is the contraction that we use for will. Yes, okay. Uh, I have a little problem. Uh, for example, um, the, the exercise in the third part, unit third, uh, using, using, for example, can you tell me uh, the, the last part that we are um, um, teaching, that you are teaching, the, the last part, uh, I try to answer and have a problem to uh, make the, the correct answer. I don't know why. It... Okay, is that in the platform? Yes. Okay, let me check it out quickly. What is the exercise? Uh, I, I don't remember, I'm going to, to watch the exercise and I'm going to say you uh, it is um, I tell you okay I think that it is um, uh, 3.3 3.3 3. yes okay 3.3 Can you tell me? Oh, okay, indirect questions. Yes, yes. Okay, 
So you're going to use the question, can you tell me, right? So can you tell me? And the to... question is, does she play tennis? And can you tell me, I don't know if uh, the answer is, can you tell me if? If, uh-huh. She play. If she plays. So in that case, you need to add the letter S to the verb. Yes. If she yes, plays. Place. Uh huh. Tennis, and then question. Tennis, but okay, okay. Uh, I, I'm not sure, is, uh, but I write that uh, way. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't. Mark. So question when... mark. Yeah, a question mark. So can you tell me if she plays tennis? That's correct. Uh, okay. you, you, don't, you don't use the question mark when you start the question with a phrase. For example, I wonder, I like to know, I was wondering. But if it is a question form, like can you tell me or would you mind telling me? Okay, so or could you tell me? Okay, uh, but in the second question, does he live oh. in Paris? Uh -huh. uh, but the instruction is, can you tell me? Can you tell me? If it is a yes, no question, we use if. If. Yes. Can you tell me yes. if he lives? Lives. With Paris. yes at the end? Uh -huh. And always the question mark. Yes, correct. Um, okay, okay. Um, I and, I think that and number uh, three. The... And number three. Mm -hmm. What is it? What is the answer that you have for number three? Uh, it's a phrase. Uh huh. Um, well, it's not a phrase because we use "Can you tell me?" for all the questions. Yes. Yes. So. Can you tell me if? Uh -huh. um, she um she hungry is no or oh, she's she's hungry that's correct she is hungry oh okay. so subject the verb and the complement but it only only point at the end uh -huh. you change she is she and you say she is yes how can you tell me if she is hungry? Correct. Mm -hmm. And the question mark. Very okay. good. So you got it. Okay. Okay. I I think that um in a little I think that I lose um, one moment. But I I am clear. Okay, it's Thank clear. You. I'm glad to know that. Thank you so much, Juan Jose. It was good to see you. Okay. Thank Have you. Have a good too. night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Get enough rest. Bye-bye. Okay.